guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. How y'all doing? I just want to say hello to any new subscribers and thank you so much for returning back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and click that bell just so you can be notified when I get any new videos. So today I'm going to be doing something so different. It's going to be a festival look. So I don't really go to any festivals that much guys, but this year I'm going to quite a few for a few brands. So I thought why not do a cute little makeup look, something a bit golden, a spotlight, a bit holographic, a bit of snatchery. So this video is actually in partnership with MUA Makeup Academy. If you guys have never heard of them, you need to ask yourself what's been going on. Maybe call your mom and be like what's happening because they are huge. They're stuck in super drug. All their products are cruelty free, which is amazing. They actually do some really, really good products. And that most of them are under like seven pounds. Like it's crazy. I'm actually going to be using their festival kit today, which is actually 15 pounds, which comes with an eyeshadow palette, holographic a holographic powder and a brush, which is so good. I'm also going to be using a few other products from them. So I've already done my eyebrows. I'm just going to put some base on and we can get this video going. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna use is the Pro Base Moisturizing Primer. So the primer looks like this. It's actually like four pounds, which is crazy. Um, I just love the packaging and I think it comes out July the 25th and it's like four pounds, so keep a look out for this. So first time using this, so I'm gonna feel the texture. Ooh, it feels really, really nice. Has it got tea tree in it? It's most kind of tea tree, but yeah, it has got tea tree in it, yeah really really nice like so nice it's quite tacky as well which i love in a primer oh so so cute so i literally put a bit of corrector on just because my skin has been playing me this week i'm not sure what she's doing but she's definitely not liking me to see my skin's been breaking out so um, i'm definitely going to need a bit of concealer and i've got some really cute concealers from Emmyway academy so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to put a base on um i'm just going to use a foundation stick so you guys will have to let me know like what festivals you're going to. Um, I'm, I'm definitely going to Love Box. I'm not. I'm not sure what day, but I think I'm going wireless as well. I just feel like a festival makeup look is always the right way. And I feel like when people think of festival makeup looks, they always think of something quite dramatic and like quite um, out there. And I feel like unicorn makeup can still be cute. It still can be pretty. It still can be out there, but just just make it be you. Don't try and do things that you see on Instagram. Definitely make it something that you're gonna feel comfortable in because you don't wanna be out in the festival not feeling comfortable because you just won't enjoy it, you know what I mean? So. Um, I want to create a look that's really cute and that you you guys can really like follow. So, you know what I mean? Mm. So the next product I'm going to go into is the Pro Base Full Coverage Concealer, which looks like that. This is in the colour 170. So this looks like it's going to have like a yellow undertone, which it probably does. Yeah, it's got kind of like a yellow undertone, which I love. You guys know I love a bright under eye, so this concealer better give me life. Ooh, actually feels nice. So I'm gonna do it here. We all need that bright under eye for a festival just because sometimes festivals can be very long and you definitely don't wanna be looking tired or looking peak at the like, right at the start of the festival. This is the first time we're trying this concealer. So I, I did swatch it when I first received it and I was like, ooh, but it feels really, really good. Put some there. Oh, it's thick as well. I love liquid concealers just because I feel like liquid concealers, you have more playtime with them. And I feel like sometimes with cream concealers, they can get a bit creasy, but I just love this concealer. I'm loving the undertone. It's very mean. Guys, I'm not even saying this. It's literally blended out like a dream. Like, it's such a good highlight shade. Especially for a deeper skin tone. And guys, these are £2.50, babes. £2.50 for a concealer. £2.50 is like a bottle of milk, a Snickers, and maybe like a Chompers bar. Like, the value for this is crazy. And again, it is cruelty free. I'm like, what? This looks pretty. Oh my guys, I've literally just set this concealer. No creasing. Can you guys see that? Like, I'm a bit shook. Like, it's a two pound fifty concealer, and I'm, I'm, I, I just, I don't, I don't get it. Like, 
no honestly it looks really really good i'm like really surprised it's really nice like okay everywhere makeup academy oh okay so guys for the look i'm literally gonna use the same concealer i use under my eyes just for an eyeshadow base just because i feel like this concealer is like locked down and i'm really loving the way it looks under my eyes so on the lid it's just gonna be so cute you don't need a lot i'm just gonna do it like that and do some now so guys, I'm literally going to go into the festival kit, which I showed you earlier, which is only £15. It's such a bargain, and it comes in this really cute see-through jiffy case. In here, you got eyeshadow brush, which is a four-in-one brush. This is such good value for money. And you get the 15 shade um, Fire Vixen palette, which is really cute. I'm going to be using this and another palette for the look today. And you also get this really cute lip kit, which looks like that. So pretty. And you get, oh my God, there's so much in here. The loose holographic highlighter, which in the color prism. And you also get a holographic stick, which looks like this. So I'm definitely gonna be using loads of these products on me and my body. I'm intrigued to see what this four in one brush does because I love a multi-purpose brush. Purpose, why did I say purpose? Brush, just because I feel like if you're a woman on the go or a guy on the go, you can literally, ooh, this is so nice. Ooh, oh my God, guys. Like you can literally take it out of there, like that, and it's like a two in one. Oh my God, this is amazing, no. Hold on, which one's this? No, I love this, so good. What a bargain, like, I'm just kind of baffled, like, I'm actually surprised how good of quality their products are, just because I've never used much from MU Academy, and I've heard their products are insane, but I'm just really, really shook. So, let's get started on this eye look. I'm going to use the Vixen palette, which is this pretty palette here, which is included in the palette, and I think I'm just going to use... I'm gonna try going with this shade here just to see if we can create some kind of color. Yeah, that's really nice. So I'm literally just fanning this out on my lid just to create a kind of soft transition color because we we're, go we're gonna be going kind of like a goldish pink color. So this is actually really nice and the pigment of these shadows are super, super soft. So next I'm gonna go in with the Cosmic Vixen palette which looks like this. So pretty and bright. I'm definitely gonna use a few of these purples and pinks here. This palette is five pounds, guys. What? What in the bargain is going on? So, I'm trying to think what color to dip into. What color's calling my name? I think I'm gonna go into this color here because it looks so pretty. I feel like doing like a unicorn dream kind of look like something so pretty. So I'm gonna go in with a purple there. Ooh, love that purple. It's just giving it that kind of like fairy tale dreamland look and they blend so nice. So next I'm gonna go in with this deep, deep purple shade just to kind of like deepen the crease just because I feel like it needs a bit of dimension just to make this look come forward. Ooh. So I'm literally going to take this 4-in-1 brush, which I think actually this one's for lip. There's one for lip and this one is for like angled brush. This one's for smudging. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take that like that, pull it on the brush. It's so good. I'm going to take some of the same purple that's on my lid, go like that. I'm literally going to try and create that kind of like halo eye. I'm literally just going to put it there. Like, try and get as strong as possible. And it's like follow my natural like crease line and then we'll blend it out after this because I want to make the color more kind of strong around here. And I put that powder underneath just because if any fallout happens, I can literally sweep it away super easy. This purple though, it looks kind of navy on camera, but it is coming out quite purple on me. I think I'm going to put that concealer when it's really making it super pink. Hey guys, I'm literally going to take the pink from the Cosmic Vixen palette and literally blend out the edges so it isn't so harsh and not so cute. So 
I've done the eye, it looks so good. So I'm literally gonna use the Fire Vixen which came with the Festival Kit and I'm really feeling this shade here. It's kind of like a rose gold and I feel like it'll go really, really good to the purple. So what I'm gonna do, I'm literally gonna just try my finger cause, oh, look at that pigment, bitch. So I'm literally just gonna pat that on my eye. Ooh, I love it. It's not too much as well. I'm actually going to wet the brush, I'm going to use some of the Pro Base Fixing Spray which looks like this. This is actually out on the 25th of July so definitely have a look out for this. And the price is £4 babes, you can't go wrong with that. So I'm actually going to spray my brush and take a bit more of shade, what shade is it? Shade 10 on the palette which is the one I just used for my oh there we go oh my god so nice okay so I've just put some kind of like pinky eyeliner in my waterline and I'm literally gonna take what eyeliner should I take no I'm gonna take the purple again the purple is from the cosmic vixen palette I'm actually gonna take this one here with the pencil brush from the festival kit which is amazing and just kind of like smudge that out I'm actually really feeling this look. It's so pretty. I feel like saying purple rain, purple rain. I can't even sing, so I'm not sure what the hell I'm trying to do. So from the fire palette, I feel like my inner corner needs a moment because she's very dark. She needs light. It's a festival. She needs to be seen. So I feel like I'm going to use this color here by spraying my brush again and using this flat end. Um, by using the fixing spray, which is only like five pounds, so I'm actually gonna put some in the corner of my eye. Yes, that's so stunning. So I'm gonna take the Pro Base in the color 190, and this is it's a dark enough shade for me to contour. Let me just check on my nose, but it's very cool tone, so let me check. Yeah, I could contour with this. It's really nice. It's a really good colour actually because for deeper skin tones, you don't want anything too warm, but sometimes I do love a warm contour. It just depends on your personal preference, but so I think for cheeks, if you want it to look like a contour, it has to look quite cool, but it just depends on your skin tone. So I'm just going to put this here like that and kind of flick it up like that if you can see it. I love the dough from this, it's actually really, really nice. And this can see that again, it's £2.50. I'm just gonna go like that. See, it's really natural. It's actually a really nice shade for my skin tone. It's really, really nice. It's giving me contour without looking too dark. Because sometimes with a contour, you don't want too much of a dark moment, especially with the eyes. But I'm actually loving it. Okay, so I'm going to take a bronze powder like this. This is, I think, maybe the darkest. This is in 130, and it looks like this. It's actually a lot more darker in real life. Let me swatch it for you on my hand. It looks like this, so it's really ready. It actually reminds me of the Bobbi Brown Deep 4. And it's actually, how many, let me just check how much the price is. So they're £2.50 or so. And it has this kind of red undertone. So if you definitely want to warm up your face, it's actually really nice. I'm surprised it actually swatched this colour. So I'm just going to take a brush like that. And then bronze up my face. Ooh. So it's giving me kind of like a warm undertone, which is kind of nice. Just so if I want to give my face that kind of like sun-kissed look. And it's also good as well if you want to like mesh in your highlight powder, which is really cute. So I'm going to use, um, so I've got two blushes here. This is in Peach Fizz and the other one is in Rogue, Rogue Punch. They're so pretty, they look like that. So I'm actually going to use um, Peach Fizz, both £2.50. So cute. Oh my god, let me open this. Can we take a moment for that colour please? 
so so pretty i'm just gonna use a bit on my cheeks just to give me a bit of glow oh that's actually really pretty this actually has gold reflex in it so you actually could use it as a highlighter it's actually really really nice i might bring it up as a highlighter actually just so it's giving me those kind of vibes it's actually really really nice before I put a nose highlight or anything, I always have to put like a liquid highlight. So I'm going to use the Light Lustre and this is in the colour... I love it, there's a colour. I think it might be in the colour Marvel. Yeah, Marvel, Marvel. And these are £5 but you get hella products. Like, you get so much product in these. And they're actually really nice. I think they come in three shades. I think there's a deeper one. But I'm not going to use too much of it. So I'm literally just going to put some on there. You don't need too much. Some there. No, some there. Maybe some on the high points as well. Like just there. Such a pretty highlight. And I'm just gonna use my beauty blender just to dub that out. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the festival kit to finish off this look. I'm not sure whether to use the holographic stick which is included in it. Let me show you what this looks like. It looks like this and on my arm, see it's giving me like unicorn vibes, but color graphic sticks sometimes, if you apply them with powders, can take your makeup off. So I'll probably use this before, but because I've got so much powders on, I'm obviously gonna have to use the holographic powder. So this looks amazing. How much, you get 18 grams of products in here. What in the world? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, Tip some of the powder out on here, which looks like that. I'm actually gonna put a tiny bit on my cheeks. So let me just take a highlighting brush. And then let's get highlighting. Wow. Oh my. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna put some more on. It is very finely milled so make sure you just tap off the excess but that is gorgeous oh and i think like it goes with the eye look you guys aren't seeing what it looks like in camera but it's actually more of like a unicorn pink in real life but on the screen it's not looking as unicornish but i'm gonna apply more there you go so pretty it's really blinding that's what i'm saying so i think for the stick you can go for the stick if you want more of a natural finish but if you want to be blinding and highlight through the festival definitely go for this powder but obviously if you get the kit they're both in there so you've got like a good mix so, hey guys i'm back i've literally highlighted my face like that it just looks so pretty i actually put some in the corner of my eye just because it really helped Let's really bring out the eye because it had that kind of pinky purple, which my eyes do. So what I'm going to do to mesh all these powders together, I'm going to take a bit more of that pro fixing base, which looks like this, and let's spray it all over my face. Whew. Like that. So we're just going to fan ourselves just so the powders can like seep in and it highlights a tiny bit more brightening and then we're gonna finish off with the lips. Okay, so for lips, I'm literally gonna use the Prism Lip Kit which came with the Festival Kit and this is like, I think it's like a top coat and a base coat. The color's actually really, really nice. So let me just take them out. It's really kind of pinky nude, which looks like that. I love the packaging as well. It just has, and it feels really expensive. It's really heavy. And it just has that kind of holographic kind of festival feel. And you get a top coat as well to give you that kind of like iridescent finish. So let's try these. This color is really, really nice. It's like a muted pink, but I don't think I'd need a liner. Oh, I'm gonna use the lip gloss. Oh, it's a lip gloss. Ooh, let's try this. Oh my God. What in the holographic realness is going on? 
I really, really like the lip. Oh my God. The lip is really nice and even though it's holographic, it kind of settles down to like a kind of like a pinky sheen. It's just a look. I'm gonna go in with the Amplify Statement Mascara, which looks like this. This is only three pounds. Let's take a look at the wand. It's quite nice, actually. A light wand like this, so kind of like a comb. So let's see if we can give my lash some volume because I don't think I'm gonna wear lashes with this look because I really like the I really like the way how the eyes look without lashes. So hey guys, I'm back. So I literally changed into this little sequin number by Adidas. So this is what I wear once I complete the look. This is like my kind of festival outfit. I love sequins. I added a bit of a face gem. You don't have to. The makeup was already at 100, but you can. Like you can add a face gem if you want to, but the makeup definitely stands out for itself. I'm just so happy with the way this look came out with. Everywhere Academy are doing beat. So a few products that stood out to me were that I should have had it. What in the pigment? like the pigment was insane the um cosmic vixen palette is actually so pretty you could wear a lot of these colors by itself and i was actually intimidated by this palette but they blend out so pretty and the fire vixen palette which comes in the sequin that's not a sequin the, um festival kit which is only 50 pounds 15 pounds is amazing like this palette is so good these two together are knock out like I love them so much. Another thing that really stood out to me was the concealer. I was just like, the coverage, the price, two pound fifty, and it's cruelty free. Like so good. The colors really nice. They do deeper shades as well, which is amazing. And guys, it's two fifty. You can't go wrong. And these lip duos in the festival kit, which are fifteen pounds. Like the lip gloss, no. The lip gloss you could wear by itself, it's just so nice. It doesn't even feel sticky, I'm just shook F. And this color was really nice as well. I really liked it by itself, but with a liner, no. This pink is really, really nice. I love that it's a really fast, non-sticky formula. I'm just so, I'm just like impressed with the whole look i hope you guys enjoyed this look i would really love to see some of you guys recreate a festival look um in different colors or using a different palette let me guys know and guys i just want to see every single look i hope you guys have a lovely summer and festival and also don't forget all these products are literally under five pounds the ones i mentioned and the festival kit was 15 pounds and all the products are literally cruelty free you can't go wrong there. You can't go wrong. But thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.